Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm in my laundry room and the lighting is pretty wonky, as you can tell. However, um, I have a moment of quietness and I need to clean my washer. So I thought I would get, give you guys some tips as I go As far along. as cleaning the inside of the washer, um, you can buy tablets. I think they're called Afresh or something. You can buy those tablets at the store, stick them in and let it do its thing. However, this is another way you can, you can do it yourself. Just use vinegar and baking soda. You need one of these containers of baking soda and two cups of vinegar and you'll run your cycle twice once for the baking soda and once for the vinegar and this is the DIY method normally you have these products on hand anyway and it's all natural and it does a good job at cleaning and scrubbing your machine so here I've got my baking soda and all I'm gonna do is pour the whole container into the drum now this can also work for a top loading washer not just a front loader um, but all you're gonna do is pour it into the drum and then turn your washing machine to your hottest cycle which I'm using my whitest whites and then you turn it on and you're good to go okay so now that I have the baking soda in the washer you're probably wondering what it's doing well it works as a natural like detergent or like scrubber and it also helps with odors eliminating odors and such there is now a step two to this process after that cycle is finished with the baking soda, the next thing you want to do is put two cups of vinegar just into the drum. Put it on your hottest cycle once again and let it do its job. After the vinegar cycle is complete, um, you're going to want to move on to cleaning the rest of the washer. Um, first of all, check your rubber seal, like the inside, there's different crevices. Hold that open and guys, this is really embarrassing. <laughs> Just look at that dirt and grime. Seriously, that's disgusting. Um, but that's what happens when people like me, I forgot to clean it and this is what happens. And I think summertime can be worse. We have a lot more grime and dirt and sand maybe. But anyway, make sure you take a rag around in there or something, a brush or whatever to clean it out really well. And after you clean out the seal, um, just make sure the rest of the washer is looking um, spotless or as, as clean as you can get it. Here I'm just um, wiping out the rest of the, the seal part and also um, other little crevices around in the washer. So after it's clean inside, um, this takes us to step two. Okay, so the first tip I have is to take um, this tray out, the dispenser tray. Take all your parts out um, piece by piece and stick it in your dishwasher. Um, that should help you get it cleaner. This is like the lazy way of doing it. <laughs> um, I've cleaned it by hand, but um, it does a pretty good job if you stick it in your dishwasher. You can take everything apart, including this front part, and stick the whole thing in your dishwasher. And you might have to wipe it a little bit after it comes out, depending if it didn't get all of the areas, but it's a lot easier than trying to get in there um, and clean everything, for sure if it's really dirty. Okay, so this is what mine was looking like um, before I washed it. And as you can see, um, everything pretty much just comes apart and you can very easily put it back together. Also make sure you wipe out the inside of um, the compartment there. It can get extremely moldy and disgusting. Mine wasn't too bad this time around, um, but make sure you clean that really well. So this is what it looked like after I got it out. I did have to wipe a couple places um, where it didn't quite get it all, but it was so much easier than trying to get all the little crevices. Um, depending how much gunk buildup there is, it was really easy to do. So then you just put it back in and you're good to go. The next tip I have is to always um, try to leave your doors open after you're done washing. Um, this helps to keep the moisture down inside. It'll help it dry and it will definitely help with the mold and um, smells that can happen in, in washers. So try to keep your doors open at least until everything is dry in there. Okay, so after you have completed all of these things that I mentioned, your washer should be looking a lot better than it did. And it helps to keep up with this stuff on a regular basis. That way, you know, you don't have a lot of grime and buildup as you saw in my seal. That was pretty gross. Anyway, it's looking a lot better now. 
Um, so I hope you found these tips and tricks helpful. And if you guys would like this video or comment, let me know what you thought. If you have any other suggestions or tips, please let me know. Um, I'm always looking for new tips and um, tricks to keep things clean. So I hope you all enjoyed the video and I would love if you guys would subscribe if you're new. And I will be seeing you guys later. Bye.